Hello, my name is Grace. Today, I'm going to read the story. Perky and the Peerties. Perky, Pig, and his family lived in a farm by the sea. They spent all day working in their thin, tiny field. Oh, my back. Oh, my knees. This is the field. Their whole day working. But there was never enough to eat. That's the last carrot. Sorry, kids. Rumble, rumble. Early on one morning, Perky came up with a plan. He took out a long branch, some string and a nail. Then he put them together and made a fishing rope. Oh, he is a very clever boy. I will catch some fish and su surprise everyone, he thought, serving us for supper. Bridget rolled around at the day. He put a worm on his hook and started to fish. Come and get this. Come and get it, fishes. Parky waited and waited and waited. He got so tired of waiting, he fell asleep. Hours later, he woke up with wet feet. Oh no! Perkle's boat was so old, it had sprung a leak. Perky was sinking fast. Just then he saw a ship. Help! They, he yelled. I am sinking. The ship came closer. Please hurry, he shouted. Soon it would be too late. At last, the ship came alongside Perk's boat. Take this rope, lad. Perky gobbled a rope and pulled himself off, up with a big grain. He climbed the on board. That's luck. Perky saw who had rescued him. Suddenly, he didn't feel so lucky. I am 
cactus truck. Roll the fears man. And this is my pair eight ship. My name's Big Big Perky Big. Um, thanks for saving me, said Perky nervously. You have a choice, boy, wounded the captain. Join me through, or I will soon throw you to the sharks. Perky didn't want to be a parrot, but he didn't want to be a short dinner eater. Okay, I'll join you. Meet the rest of my troop. I am Willy Weavy. They call me Sam Zuckervy. Hello, ship mate. I am Ronnie Rum. Teleport the ship's moment. Let. Blood crock and the pair eight sand. We still for cross cross is the best. Then put the t shirt in his chest. <laughs> I cannot understand that. Uh, or usually you will talk, walk to plank. The ship sail look about to sea. Will I never ever see my family again? So perky. The next day, the pirates stopped a ship called a Christmas cuttlefish. Stop a whole The attack Sam ordered Captain Cook from. Sam scurry zoo across to the ship, traced it its crew, and brought back two bags of shiny gold coins. Put it all in my treasure chest, ordered the captain. Perky opened the chest. Sam poured it in all the gold. Well, almost all. That night, Captain Croc looked it in Sam's locker. He found Twenty gold coins. What's this? I uh, um, remember the ships 
motto. Wrote it the captain. The next day, Crook made some scary walk the plank. Sam jumped it into the sea. Help! And was gobbled up by sharks. On Tuesday, the her eggs sported a ship called a pink peron ship. Oh, lead the attack, wily other Captain Crook. Wiley soon tested it through and brought back a bag of sparkling diamonds. Put it all in my treasure chest, ordered the captain. Perky opened the chest. Wiley poured it in all the diamonds, well, almost all. That night, Captain Croc looked under Wiley's bed. He found Thirty diamonds. What's this? I uh, um, remember the ship's motto. Boomed the captain. The next day, Crook make Wiley we will walk to a uh, walk the plank. Wiley jumped it into the sea. Yep. And was gobbled up the ice shark. Hmm, the captain is so so bad. On Thursday, the party stopped the a ship called a blue. Blowfish ship ahoy lead the attack Ronin other Captain Crook Roman ran swam across to the ship chases the crew and brought back five bags of shiny silver coins. Put it all in my treasure chest, ordered the captain. Perky opened the chest. Ronnie poured in all the ciphers, well, almost all. That night, Captain Croc looked in Ronnie's spare of boots. He found 40 silver coins. What's this? Uh, uh, remember the ship's motto, wrote the captain. The next day, Crook made Rowling walk to the plant. Ronnie jumped into the sea. Whoosh! 
and was gobbled up by sharks. That night, the captain stopped at the ship called the Red Herring. You're the last of my crew, lad. We are going on board, said Captain Crook. I will keep watch you. I will keep watch. You look for treasures. And no tricks, he answered, or easily. Brawl, Pickle, and the captain swam across the ship. The crew was fast asleep. Search the captain's cabin. Great troop, and don't come out empty hand. But, but Perky could only find maps. They gave him an idea. Perky found a map of a place called Carp Island. Carp Island. He took a pen and drew, drew a map. First, he drew a wiggly arrow. Then he drew a big cross by a waterfall. Under the cross, he wrote the word treasure. He left the cabin and took the map on Captain Crook. I found a treasure map, cried Perky with a smile. I will be rich, croak, called croak, back to my ship. Be greedy, Captain, couldn't wait to find the treasure. They sailed all night. The next morning, they landed to Crops Island. The captain and Perkins set off. They followed a wiggly line on the map. Across the beach, around the lake, over the river, until they reached to the waterfall. Let me eat the treasure, cried Cook, grumbling. The shovel, he got down and down and down. I'm sorry. But the captain couldn't find any treasure. There's nothing here. Purchase. Like it, I made it all up. It's very deep down here. The captain turned it red with rage. 
He tried to climb up out of the hole, but he couldn't. He was trampled. Help! yelled Croc. But Perky wasn't listening. Bye. Bridget run. Perky run over the river. Between the rocks, around the lake, across the beach, and back to the ship. Perky took down the Perky's flag and set sail. Five days later, he arrived home. There, in a port, very all the ships that Croc had attacked. So Perry returned their treasure. Everyone was so grateful. They gave Perky a big reward. Three cheers for Perky and the pig family was never hungry again. That and yesterday I read the story. It was fun. Then bye.